Yo, what's good, Ron? Hope you're doing great. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down a Boomba beat I made a while ago in a Japanese style. First, I'm gonna break it down to melody, then I'm gonna move on to the drums, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's get right into it. First thing I did, I laid down this melody right here. You can use any guitar VSTs you want. I prefer some ethnic type strings for that to make it sound more unique. Uh, I prefer Yang Sin or Guzang for that. These are some really good VSTs and Yang Sin was actually free a while ago. So. so this is the melody right here. It sounded a little too raw for me, so to make it wider, I copied the melody and I made this one right here. It's really just the exact same melody, I removed some notes from it and it's with the same effects as the earlier one, but I put a half time on it, so I'm gonna show you what I did with them. I put an EQ, a reverb, some delay and an RC20 and I did for the same thing for the lower one but I put a half time on it, you can play around with that and the third thing I added was I laid down a flute melody it's really simple, it's nothing I didn't want to make the melody complicated as I wanted the drums to sound like it's full so it doesn't really good if you make your melody and the drums complicated as well. The best thing in my opinion is to make it both really simple. So the flute sounds like this. It's really fucking simple and the library I used was Emberton Recorders. Yeah it was Emberton Recorders the first version and I used the Auto, flute, you can mess around with these settings. I don't really do much with them usually. I put on some reverb and EQ and RC20. I think in RC20 I made it stereo, so it's like it plays around in your headset. So, so yeah. So, what's up with the drums, you ask? It's, it's not really that complicated. The first thing I always start with is these hi-hats. Then I lay down the snares as claps. The One of the things you have to look when you're making a boom bap beat is that usually you put your claps right here on every eighth note but you have to do it with the in, in lower BPMs you have to make it right here so as you can see then if you get that bounce in your head and also you play with the melodies you can always lay down a good kick pattern And this is how it sounds like without the melody and with the kick. I usually put my open hats where it doesn't really overlay with anything. So as you can see, it's in the in the empty spots of the drum pattern. I usually put my open heads after the snare hits, so it, it doesn't overlay with anything. And I added some perks to complement the drum pattern. It's a really simple chant. Then I added some other perks. It's really just a shaker. 
you can see anywhere else in boom bap type beats there a lot there are a lot of shakers then i added some some other perks and the last thing i did with the drums i laid down an 808 but it's not really an 808 it's just a hard bass i put it's a short bass and i'm gonna play that for you it doesn't really sounds good uh, by alone so i'm gonna show you how it sounds with the overall drum pattern And of course it follows the root note of the melody so that's pretty much it for the breakdown i hope you learned something shout out to loopside for making this happen once again and yeah see you soon peace